cannon ready. Crew ready. Let's test these sperm whale sized sounds. That was immense. I couldn't have been more perfect, but one of the most shocking things I've ever felt, felt rather than heard, through my entire body. It's blown our barrels away, created the most perfect smoke ring I think I've ever seen. That was so cool! That was so cool! Oh, my goodness! And it couldn't have been a better, better representation. It couldn't have been a better idea of what happens with a sperm whale, because the sound and the smoke ring went out, and then it bounced back, and it came back off the quarry walls in the exact way that biosonar would. That's how it works. Nice work, guys. Nice work. No problem. The sound is definitely destructive. But can it take out prey? Our experiment is only just beginning. Sperm whale sound is extraordinarily complex, and they have lots of different kinds of sound for different reasons. So there is coda, which is communication. There is obviously what they use for echolocation, building up a picture of their world. But when they're hunting, they make their loudest sounds. And that's led to an incredible, intriguing hypothesis known as the biological Big Bang Theory. Essentially, what it's stating is that sperm whales use their sound to take out their prey, to paralyze things like giant squid. And so we're going to try and do that right now. Now, I can't stand in front of the cannon myself, so instead, we've got my good friend, Beef Satchel. He has the correct ear protection and eye protection because, trust me, this is going to get messy. Imagine the scene. We're in the dark depths of the Atlantic Ocean, and our sperm whale is searching for a squid dinner. It releases a blast of sound. Imagine what sperm whale biosonar could do to its squid prey. 